Hey, what's up guys? It is the Brick Building Kids. Uh, today, guys, we have got a, um, a repair video to show you. So what's going on is we have, well, I fixed microwaves and appliances in the past, so I was asked to fix this microwave. Now, it is a little more than a year old, I think a year and three months old, so it's out of the manufacturer's warranty period. So the microwave turns on, the microwave powers on like it's actually heating up um, heating up food, heating up liquids, but it's actually not heating anything up. So it's making a very loud buzzing noise. And I'm gonna show you guys here how we take the microwave apart and what pieces and what parts we remove to get this thing working again. So this is a, uh, a Whirlpool um, over, the, over the stove microwave. And uh, let's get started. Here we go. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys here actually exactly what's happening to us right now. So I'm gonna set the clock first. Okay. All right. So you guys hear that sound? Everything's turning like it's moving, but nothing is going on. So we are going to, like I said, take this apart. Typically what's, there are two parts. It is the diode and the magnetron that are bad in these cases. So uh, we're gonna take the microwave apart and replace these parts. All right, now guys, well, I am gonna speed through and show you the microwave after it is unassembled. I do wanna share with you what we're gonna have to go through to get inside here. Now, before you get started on anything electrical, make sure you turn the power off. Okay, so there are screws on top. There are screws behind that we're gonna have to remove. And there are also screws underneath the unit that we're gonna have to remove to get to the, the actual inside components. So I'm gonna unplug the unit and I'm going to show you guys what we've got after this now another thing too is there is a there are components in here that can retain electrical current so we're going to ground those out as well all right guys one thing i do want to share with you i'm still pull, pulling this thing apart but uh, one thing you will want to do is as you're taking the unit apart separate your screws so i've taken from the side or from the top and i've separated all my screws that go to the top and as i'm taking apart the bottom here I'm separating those screws so I know so I know exactly where to put these guys back at. Because I mean half the battle, if we can get this unit to work, the other other half of the battle is gonna be actually putting it all back together. So this is all to me, this is all kind of new, so we're we're winging it. Um, we have a, a good idea of what we're doing, but at this point, um, like I said, we are really winging it to make sure that um, just checking these parts out all right so I have at this point okay all right now I'm gonna flip this back up and over so we can take off the sides and see the actual insides here Okay, so I have all the sheet, I have all of the sheet metal pieces that connect this frame together off. So we should be able to disconnect this now. Should. Now it does look like there is one piece hiding, or there's one screw hiding from me in the front. So I'm gonna have to turn this back around and do it again. All right, guys, and to my surprise, it was not an actual piece that needed pushed back. It was, or it was not a, another screw. It just needed to be pushed back how these all line up. So we're gonna pull, pull this out to make it easier to work around. 
Okay, and we're gonna get friendly with these parts now. All right, guys, now let's start with what we found in here. So, this is our magnetron. Okay, and that's what we suspect is part of the problem. Um, the other problem we potentially have is with um, our diode. Now, that is a little harder for me to show you, but if you can see, all right, now in here, there is this black part right there. That is our diode. It may be bad or malfunctioning. So we're gonna replace them both since we're in here. All right, so guys, now we are going to release any, um, any charges um, stored in the capacitor. So it's a little hard for me to get this angle, but what we need to do is we need to touch both terminals with a insulated screwdriver. So you can do this. If there's any, anything stored up, you'll hear a pop, but we're not, like we're touching both terminals and we're getting no popping. So there is, there's no stored up charge. Now I will tell you, from just personal experience and caution, any time it comes to electricity, you can never be too careful. So um, I use, anytime I'm working with electric work, I always use leather gloves. Leather gloves. So if you know there were to be some sort of a current or charge to be built up, it might protect me a little bit more than not. So. Um, now that we have the cabinet completely off, I need to take off um, this protector back here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on removing these parts now. So I'm gonna the remove the ground the as thing, well. The thing's popped. Uh, the thing did not pop, so there was, I mean, we, we kept doing it and there's nothing stored up in there. So we should be safe, Noah man. Okay, so we're gonna, even walk in we're gonna take this. What do you see in there? Mm-hmm. There's no popping thing? Yeah, there's no popping thing. Nope. Did not pop. Okay, and to get to the magnetron on the back, there's still actually, there's a couple more screws that I have to remove back here to remove this assembly. If the thing pops, does does it stay popped or can it get backed up? Well, no, since we're not connecting it back to electricity, it won't. It, it, sh it won't get any more. It won't get another electrical charge, and that's just all that I'm worried about is, sh is the electrical charge popping and, you know, essentially hurting. Because that will hurt a lot. What? If there was um, electricity built up in this unit, I'm not in the screen, but you can still heal me. We can always hear you, buddy. Alright. So, and another thing too is just, just be very careful removing these parts. Because if you break it, then it's another part that you will inevitably have to replace. So, alright. We've got this removed now. And the diode, like I just opened up my package from Amazon, and I mean, this is the nastiest looking package I've got from Amazon ever. So we're gonna replace it, we're gonna see how it looks. We could actually just put the magnetron on and test it to see if it works before putting the new diode on. Um, but no, let's not do that. So another important thing to, to, to remember is when you are taking this off, Remember the orientation of your wires. So we have, you know, we're gonna see this back here so we know exactly where our wires connect. We know the watt, the, so I can focus a little bit better. Okay, so back here, the red is closest to us and the um, double black is on the farther right. So we're going to need to remove Remove this coupler first. Now another thing too, guys, is what I, I do just this this helps too, just kind of 
peace of mind. It's a current detector. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting any, any live current on any of this. So just a little more peace of mind for you. I actually bought this, the Magnetron, on eBay. The Magnetrons for this unit are like $170 to $200. So on eBay, found it for $40. Um, so here's our Magnetron. All right, so we're gonna delicately remove the connections back here. Okay. And like we said, the this was farthest away. So we're going to gently pull, pull this out. Guys, I'm going to show you. I pulled the first one out. But there are these small locking um, mechanisms in here that you need to push and pull out. Okay, perfect. We got both of them out. All right. So now that this is off, we have some bolts on the magnetron that we need to remove. Magnetron out. And let's put the new one in. So you will want to make sure that when you get your new magnetron, it has the seal on the bottom. Ours does, it's good. So set this here. All right, now that that's in, we're going to reattach. Okay, slip these in. Here we got the farthest away in. Put these both in completely. Okay. All right, guys. Now we are we are reattaching the. Just goes right back in the same hole. Okay. All right. So guys, now I have the diode to replace. So the diode is. Talking about the dough. Huh? The dough yeah, no, I'm talking about the diode. I just made pizza dough, but no, I'm talking about the diode. So this diode here, guys. Okay, so this diode here, so this is this is all it is. So we plug this guy into the diode and then we attach it to the frame and then we should essentially be able to use a microwave again. Yeah, that'd be crazy. So I know the Hey you guys the diode. So right there you see the piece that I just was was holding in my hand is right here. So we're going to disconnect it. And it's actually going to be semi-challenging to get it reattached. So I'll show you how. So you see, see the screw that we have to attach it to? Well, how in the world am I going to screw onto that? That's how I got to remove that screw. So I'm going to pull this off right now.
All right, so this piece, we've, this is what our high, our high temperature diode is attached to. So um, I've taken this piece off. We're just going to reconnect it. And it's just, it's just a screw. We're gonna take the screw off here. We're just gonna reassemble it. All right, so it's very simply, I can, I can take off my gloves. I don't have to worry about being shocked by sheet metal in a diode. So um, I've taken it off here. So screwdriver, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna attach it here. I'm gonna screw I'm gonna screw it all the way in so I don't have to worry about. Okay, I'll loosen it up just a little bit to turn it. Okay. Get this out. Now I'm just gonna put this right back in place where it was. And for that I will use my my gloves. Again, I'm not getting a really good angle on, on this. Our sensor is reattached over here. This is plugged back in. Everything is okay. All right, let's do this. Let's start to put it all back together. All right, no man, do you like experiments? Yeah. Me too. Let's test this and see how it's going. With what? Let's just try it. Let's turn it on. Let's see how it goes. Come up stay with? back there. You stay back there. Stay a good amount away. Just go back there. Okay? okay. You like turn the microwave on? Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Let's see, is it broken? Is it broken? Did we break it? The timer wasn't on. Well, it's flashing, something's flashing. All right, let's see. All right, we can at least set that. Now, let's cook. Ugh. Cook time. Step two. Huh? I don't actually know. Nothing did. But it didn't make a loud noise. Let's try this again. But the timer was going to show up. The timer was going to Now let's try to get something to put in there and see if it works. Let's get something to see if it works. Okay, why don't you get some water? A cup of water. Do what? Just go fill up a, a cup of water. Okay, so I will say, at first glance, it is not making the loud sound. At first glance, it is not making that loud sound anymore. So I think this is encouraging. Um, but Noah's gonna get Noah's gonna get some water, and we're gonna see. So, just to summarize, we've replaced the high temperature diode. We have replaced the magnetron. So, based on all of my research, that's what it seems like was the failing components when it was heating. It was very loud. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We got a cup of water. What does it turn into when you put a cup of water on there? Is that hot? Did you put it, the hot water in? No. It was cold? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely hot. 
it is definitely hot water. We're gonna, we're gonna let this go longer just to see if it boils. Is that hot? Okay, yeah, you can, you can definitely see steam coming off of this. So it is definitely warm. Dude, we fixed it. We fixed the microwave. All right. Steam means it's hot. All right, so guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in very much to our repair of our Whirlpool microwave. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put all this back together. I am not gonna make you watch me put this back together. Um, some parting words for you guys. You know, just when you're connecting those electrical parts, make sure you're very careful and you're not tugging where things shouldn't be tugged. Like if it feels like it's being forced, take a step back, you're, you might be doing something wrong. Um, make sure that you have the electrical components unplugged so you should not be plugged into the wall. Make sure you ground out um, the, the circuit that we showed, or the, uh, the part that we showed you. Make sure you connect the screwdrivers to both ends so you are not being shocked by any built up electrical current. And uh, be safe. I, it's disappointing. It's dis it's, it is very disappointing that this new Whirlpool um, microwave had this damage, but the $40 plus the $20 we spent for the diode and the uh, magnetron beat going out and paying another $350 for the same. $350? Something like that. Yeah, so it definitely beats paying that again. So um, we'll have one happy customer with a new microwave. So we appreciate you guys tuning in. If you would like to see more Brick Building Kids fun, please like and subscribe for more videos and have a great day. Thanks for watching.